Hello everybody and welcome to another workbench update. About three weeks almost since my last one, which is a little long. Didn't want to have it that long, but that's okay. You'll forgive me, I know you will. Um, I have been working little, these things took a little longer than I wanted them to. Um, they should have been done sooner, but uh, we're okay. Um, the, the both units are, are nearly finished. Um, so this is, uh, these are two units of 10 millimeter Napoleonic light infantry and you can tell because they're in all blues um i don't know if they're supposed to have all green um not pom-poms these are uh like feathers what are these these are uh i forget what they're called but they're like tall pom-poms i think green works um anyway i'm gonna leave it like this and then uh the one unit or one base in each unit has yellow because they are i think they're the chasseur uh, not their voltage voltageer in the line infantry, but I think they're chasseur in the light infantry um, uh, battalions. So anyway, I I'm happy with them. They just need some um, the little flocking of some sort, but I'm going to do that when I know what it's going to look like for everybody. And uh, yeah, pretty happy with them. Uh, a few touch-ups here and there I can do. I do have to varnish them and add some blue to these um, flagpoles or not flags. I forget what they what they're called for these guys, but um, it's like a mini flag. Anyway, so they're cool. Uh, again, those are for Warhammer Historical Napoleonic. No, Warhammer Historical Waterloo or CNC Command and Colors Napoleonics in miniature form. So I will do a an update on that project very soon. Maybe even this weekend. Maybe today. Maybe tomorrow. Uh, because I do have now, uh, what, one, two, three, four, five, six units, uh, no, seven units complete for that. And I will have to figure out what I'm going to work on next for that. Anyway, we'll see them soon. And I'll, I'll do a little uh, drive-by um, in just a sec. Um, I've also been working on these Crusader Gladiators. And my main rule set in, that I'm thinking of for these guys are Warhammer Historical's Gladiator. Again, another Warhammer Historical game that I have a rule book for that I've never tried. So here we go. Um... These guys did take a bit longer than I wanted them to, and but they're almost done. Uh, I still have to do the shields and then a few touch-ups here and there, but uh, otherwise they're they're very very close to being done. And uh, another rule set that they could be used for is Sons of Mars by uh, Acceptable Casualties. So I'm hoping to um, check that out at some point too. So I've got these guys. Um, when they're all done, I'll do a little showcase, but I will do a little uh, zoom in right now for you. Um, you'll see that there are four different colors. I guess they're kind of like quote-unquote teams but they don't need to be they're just I wanted to make sure I, I had different colors around and I I also thought maybe I could have just used like basic cloth colors um then there wouldn't have been a, a color issue but um it's okay they don't, they don't even have to be uh, teams they can just have colors so anyway um really nice models uh, I've said before I know I showed these three weeks ago when they were just primed, but I've been wanting these guys for a long time and I finally got them in. Very happy. Like they, they're they just really nice sculpts. Um, you'll see some areas I did not clean up very well. So you'll see a nice line right down the arm or so. But um, generally I'm quite happy with how they went. And you'll see I used um, two different washes for the bronze. I used Seraphim Sepia, which is always my favorite, uh, which has a nice little like uh, slightly brownish, um, goldenish, amber kind of uh, tint to it on the bronze and then Agrax Earth Shade which is a little darker um, like really the kind of dark brown kind of thing and they both look good I, I mix them throughout uh, there's um, silver um, you know so I just wanted to mix up the colors so um, yeah once the shields are on they're gonna look really good so the next time you see these guys they will have their shields and I'll do a little showcase of these ones and then hopefully I can play one of those gladiator games pretty soon all right, let's take a closer look at both of these projects. All right, here are my uh, 10 millimeter naps. These are French light, light infantry, and you can tell because they're all blue as opposed to the blue coats and the white pants. Uh, even their under, there was not surcoat. Yeah, surcoat, their under jacket shirt things are um, blue at this point. Um, you know, kind of accurate. Uh, I'm sure there's some inconsistencies historically, and that's fine. Um, just definitely wanted them to be different from the line. And as you may remember, the line infantry had four dudes on the base and these ones have three, just to change it up a little bit. And they're kind of, um, for the most part, scattered around. So like if you see over here in the chasseur, two chasseur companies, uh, the back one has two guys in the front and one in the back. So it has two guys in the back and one in the front. So try to change it up a little bit. Um, you know, some similarities, like these three are very similar, but I tried to just change the angles of where they're pointing and stuff. So I think in the end, it'll be, it'll be fine. Anyway, that's that. All right. So I guess this is the yellow team 
We've got, uh, I believe it's a Mermillo, a Secutor, a Lacarius, and a Retarius. We've got the green team. We've got a Thrax, a Thracian, a Retarius, a Cupolarinius, maybe, and a Scizor. For the blue team, we've got a, another Thrax, um, Haplomachus, mm, yeah, no, uh, Secutor, or Milo. Ah, yeah, or Milo, then Secutor, and then Haplomachus. And for the red team, a uh, Secutor, a Mermillo, Hoplomachus, and a Retarius. All right, so there you go. Um, you know, kind of productive for the last few weeks. Uh, happy with how those have all come out. Um, almost finished on both fronts, which is really cool. Uh, what's coming up next? That's always the question, always a tough one. Um, I think what I'll probably work on are these Bruins and Badgers figures. And I mentioned those before. They've been primed and waiting for a few weeks now. Those are for um, oh, Bruins and Badgers. And it's going to be my buddy's um, uh, little warband. And hopefully it can get that game on the table soon a couple bats a snake and a couple uh, mice um then i've also got these uh these are from forlorn hope these are um those future future warriors and these are for zona alpha just to figure out how i'm going to base them I, I might just put them on these bases but i'm not exactly sure i'm going to see what makes the most sense it's either these or around the bases i think um i could always cut off the tabs and put them on something else but I think it's gonna be one of those um, and then I also need to work on more of the Napoleonics figures I'm gonna see what I need next for my uh, for the first two scenarios for CNC Napoleonics and I think I might start doing some horses eh, very soon maybe next so we'll we'll see how that goes uh, but yeah those are probably probably the three things I'm gonna work on but you never know next time you see an update video I've probably worked on something completely different because you may have seen some of my unboxings of uh, core space um and uh judge red blocking and uh what was the other one there was one more and um yeah i i have those things for it. stargrave mostly so oh my gosh always something to do but i think i'm gonna try to work on these things just to get these done and i want to play zone alpha very soon burrows and badgers i want that to be ready so as soon as i can play with someone else i've got it i already have a bunch but you know get enough ready and then napoleon's because that's my ongoing project that i can't wait to continue all right thank you for watching if you have any questions or comments please leave them below uh i appreciate um appreciate you coming by and checking it out all right have a good one see ya bye